You know, OLED displays are great in every way, but they always had one major issue with them, and that's burn-in. It's when some picture or something remains static on the screen for a long time and remains a permanent white mark on the display. That used to happen a lot back in the early days of OLED, but is it still an issue in 2022? Well, it seems like it's no longer a main problem because manufacturers are obviously aware of this and they have fixed it. Well, you can't really fix burn-in because it's the nature of organic LEDs, but they have kind of corrected that or rather compensated for it in many ways. I mean, if it's an element that they themselves created, they can just move that element around to not remain static in the first place, so no burn-in problems. But if it's regarding the content that you're watching, for example, if you're watching sports on your TV, that sports icon like the channel logo may be in the same place for a long time. So in that case, they have actually developed smart algorithms that can detect these static pictures and dim the brightness selectively. That's pretty smart, right? I mean, burn-in actually happens because the Pixels are constantly turned on and they get burnt because of the brightness. So if you selectively reduce the brightness of that one area, then yeah, you can reduce burn in greatly without having to do anything with the content. In fact, some companies like LG, you know, one of the leading manufacturers of OLED, they say that their panels can last up to 100,000 hours of continuous use. That's like more than 10 years. I mean, that is a pretty bold, optimistic claim, but there are companies like CNET who have done tests and verified some of that claim. I mean, that's good to know. Like, otherwise, you would have had to settle for LCD, which, let's be honest, no matter what they do, it will never be as good as OLED. I mean, there are some better panels out there, like the nano cell displays that, that are, like, supposedly better than OLEDs without having any of the downsides of OLED. So those are pretty interesting, but OLED is pretty much the industry standard, and it has been that way for a long time. And while I agree that TVs are something that we use for a long time, at least more than 5 years, it's not something we change every 2 years or so, but at least we can have the peace of mind that the displays are actually doing something in the background to compensate for the burn-in. But what about you? Have you noticed OLED burning in any of your devices? If your device was manufactured within the last few years, I don't think you'll ever have to deal with that issue.